India's challenges go beyond Pakistan. There are security threats rising in the east as well. New Delhi is making moves in the region. Today, an important meeting took place in Japan. The 2 plus 2 dialogue, it happened in Tokyo. First, what is 2 plus 2? It is a format for bilateral engagement where foreign and defense ministers from both sides take part. That's why the name 2 plus 2. And these meetings happen on a regular basis. But this addition was significant for two reasons. Number one, defense ties. India and Japan are taking their defense partnership to the next level. Here is how. India and Japan have decided to hold a joint military drill. What kind of drill? A fighter exercise. And it is expected to happen soon. The second component is defense production. New Delhi has extended an invitation to Tokyo. Japanese industries have been invited to invest in Indian defense corridors. Part three of the plan is deeper defense cooperation. India and Japan will launch a joint service staff, joint service staff talks. Through this medium, the defense leadership from both sides will get a chance to engage. And there are also plans to step up maritime cooperation. Listen in now to what both sides had to say about today's discussions. The defense equipment and technological cooperation between India and Japan is one of our three key priority areas. In our meeting today, I had the opportunity to propose engagements in emerging and critical technological domains. We have agreed to arrange combat exercises together as soon as possible, which will be conducted for the first time. So those are the updates on the defense front. The second big takeaway is the message to China. India and Japan both face similar security challenges. They are both concerned about a common enemy, and that's China. Let's take a look at the joint statement. This was released today after the talks. Let me read out some of the key issues mentioned there. A rules-based order, respect for sovereignty and territorial integrity, peaceful resolution of disputes, and finally, the goal of achieving a free and open Indo-Pacific. All these are aimed at China. Statements from India and Japan made that amply clear. Together, we are also poised to take forward the Indo-Pacific Oceans Initiative, Indo-Pacific Partnership for Maritime Domain Awareness, and the Indo-Pacific Economic Framework, amongst others. As Foreign Minister Hayashi mentioned, we widely discussed our regional conditions and expressed a clear stance that we cannot accept and clearly are against unilateral change in the status quo by force. Unilateral change in status quo by force. That is indeed the big worry here. China's growing military assertiveness and its constant attempts to violate territorial integrity of other countries is the core issue. Both Japan and India are facing this challenge. This week, China provoked Japan militarily. Chinese and Russian forces held a joint military drill. Six warships took, place, took part in this exercise. They fired their machine guns into the Sea of Japan. And this was a serious provocation. The joint drills happened in a disputed region. This is the area I'm talking about. Russia calls them the Kuril Islands. Japan calls them the Northern Territories. There are four islands here that are contested. Both Russia and Japan claim them, but for now, Moscow controls them. And China is now stepping in to help the Russian forces assert themselves in the disputed region. With India, China's territorial provocations are well known. The Chinese buildup in eastern Ladakh led to those clashes in Galwan. The standoff militarized the India-China border. Yes, there was a breakthrough today. Indian and Chinese troops, like I mentioned, disengaged from the Gogra Hot Springs border area. But the Chinese side has not shown willingness to settle the border dispute in its entirety. And that's what brings India and Japan closer. They are like they are like-minded partners. Both countries are democracies. They face similar challenges. India and Japan are also members of the Quad. So the growing cooperation makes sense. But New Delhi must also pull off a tricky balancing act. 
India's relationship with Russia recently tested New Delhi's ties with Tokyo. The Indian forces participated in the Vostok exercise hosted by Russia. The Russia-China dr joint drills in the Sea of Japan were a part of Vostok. They formed the maritime component of the drills. New Delhi stayed away from this. The Indian Navy did not participate in Vostok. And by doing this, India displayed sensitivity to Japan's territorial concerns. But similar challenges to come up in the future as well, considering India's relationship with Russia. And that's why New Delhi will have to walk a fine diplomatic line as it tries to boost its partnership with Japan. We are now available in your country. Download the app now. Get all the news on the move.